Good evening. You know me, Miss Coast Pete. Today, we're going to join Dimu Borgir at the Wacken Fest. This is from 2018. Dimu Borgir is symphonic black metal from Norway. And it formed in 1993. The name is taken from a volcano in Iceland. And it also means dark fortress in Old Norse. Vocalist Shagrath and guitarist Silenaz are the constants. Lead guitarist Galder is a member since 94. I guess not since the very beginning, but just about. So there's three guys that are in the band that have been there for a long time. Their first EP was in... by Evik Hetens Merke, which means into the darkness of the eternity. We followed that with an LP for all tid, which means for all time. The lineup changes resulted in storm blasts considered their best album and it went to went out in 96 it was their last with all songs having Norwegian lyrics and throned darkness triumphant was very successful pulling tours of Europe and beyond a keyboardist named Mutus and a lead guitarist named Astinu joined. Nagash left, replaced on bass by ICF Vortex. Might be IC5 Vortex. My 5 looks like an S. Astinu was replaced by Galder on lead guitar. Next is Death Cult Armageddon. And this was recorded with the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra. Yeah. In 2005, Storm Blast was re recorded using drumming by Hellhammer of Mayhem and there'd be a DVD from the Ozfest as well. Did they still have Ozfest now that Ozzy and Black Sabbath are not involved anymore? I don't see why not. In Sorte Diaboli in 2007 became the first black metal band to go number one in Norway. Yeah. Vortex and Musis left. Actually, they were fired. This move was not popular with the fan base. Abra Adabra in 2010 was considered more ambient, primal and epic with sonic backdrops supplied by the Norwegian Broadcasting Orchestra and the Skola Cantorum Choir. Swedish bassist Snowy Shaw replaced Vortex, but it didn't last. 
as he rejoined Therian. Therian? I guess he rejoined Therian. One for all Tid in 95. Norwegian sounds a lot like German. This is pretty muddy and repetitive. It's not very brutal either. To Storm Blast in 96. The logo is nearly unreadable, but looks like a symmetrical demon's face. The dims like peaceful piano intros, I've noticed. And then, Enthroned Darkness Triumphant. And I like the green, gray, black sleeve art very much. And they have a new logo, and it's now readable. When they start with that piano intro and then they come on as hard as possible, it sounds like their music is an invasion. Like you were thinking, all was well, and then this happens. Is that kind of a thing. Spiritual Black Dimensions in 99. Puritanical Euphoric Misanthropia in 2001. And I've been expecting some breasts. You know, I had that t-shirt that I couldn't wear anywhere. girlfriend talked me into getting that. There's no place I could wear it except to a show. Kind of got the feeling that if I was going to wear that t-shirt to a show, I had to be pretty careful who I hung out with because, you know, there might be some fans that don't like this stuff at some show that I'd be at. I'm not a young man. I can't afford to have my head handed to me. That would hurt. Six, Death Cult Armageddon in 03. Is that a hubcap? It would be cool if it were. I think the lyrics are in English. I'm not entirely sure. Seven Storm Blast MMV, which means Storm Blast 2005. This is a remake. Eight in Sorte Diaboli in 07. And if this was happier, it would sound like Star Wars. Nine Abra. Hadabra in 2010 and then Eonian in 2018 that's the most recent I imagine that you're hearing some of that right now because I said this is a show from 2018 got that choir in the background huh the band has evolved Somewhat. Thank you for being with me. Extreme heavy metal. Next up, and tune. Take care.